Chances are you haven't seen lithium or cobalt in real life, but if you're watching this on your cell phone, you're likely holding those critical minerals in your hand. Canada has a lot of these natural resources, and on this episode of It's All Connected, we're going to dig into what they are and what harnessing more of them could mean for our economy. At a very basic level, minerals are the stuff rocks are made of. Critical minerals are defined as minerals that we need for strategic reasons. It could be economic or security, and that we're worried we may not have when we need it. The Canadian government has identified a list of 34 critical minerals. Things like phosphorus for making batteries or potash that's used as fertilizer for crops. These critical minerals are found all over the country and their demand is growing since they're a big part of modern technologies like AI. We see that a lot of the critical mineral both extraction and processing is increasingly concentrated in just a handful of countries, and that's getting worse, not better. Although environmental and Indigenous concerns need to be addressed, Canada has the potential to grow in this area since much of our resources are still untapped. To do this, we need investment from both the private and the public sector before our economy can see a boost. It's very difficult to put a number in, in even a timeline on the potential. The best estimates that we can put would be around the federal government's tracking of major project activity. There are about 138 projects on the table. Recently, the federal and provincial governments have said they are working to speed up the approval process so that Canada can become a prominent player on the extraction and refining stage. 